starting from where we left off. Okay, so here we are in our spider, uh, Python IDE. So what we are going to do is we are first going to do the length contraction. Uh, let's open up that. So this is the formula that we will be um, writing in our Python code. So what we need for this is that we need a constant velocity C. We need a variable uh, for the object's velocity V and we need a variable for the uh, length of the object in its own frame of reference. So we will define our function uh, length contraction it needs a naught and its name it needs v okay so what it will do is it will return the product of l naught square root one minus v over c square um we need to import oops we need to import numpy for the square root function okay Let's run that and let's test. So um, for now we are dealing with the velocities in meters per second. Uh, oh, we have we do not have uh, defined the C. Let's define C to 99792458. That should do it. Since we read of light, we have defined in uh, meters per second. So this formula is essentially working in meters per second, um, length contraction. Let's say we have an object of one meter and the speed of the object that is moving is 2997924579. 2997924571. So the object will nearly be 0.8 micrometer uh, in length for us if we are observing that object moving at this velocity which is 99.9999 per c so that's that's kind of what we can expect um however uh, usually we do not work with the units of meters per second as we have seen in the example of muons as well um, the velocity is usually given in relativistic units so for that what we can do is um, we can change this to c1 c1 we can define length contraction contraction relativistic we need again these two units however for that we need c2 equals to 1 in c units so we can just get this and we should be good to go. So what I've done is I've divided the velocity, uh, the relativistic velocity that will be in units of C with one. So that should not change anything. So let's take this value, uh, not this value, uh, this value divided by 100 and Put it again in so we get the exact same result 8.16779 whatever 0.8 micrometers uh, so both our formulas are working however now let's uh, dive a little bit into python more than the relativity we need to define a function that can take input uh, for both units uh, either meters per second or the relativistic units and um, for that we can define a class separately uh, let's define a class length contraction okay we will define an 
init function for it. Oops. So what we need is we need L naught, we need V and we need unit, which we will take as meters per second for default meters per second. So let's uh, work this out self dot v equals to v and self dot unit equals to unit um, that should go away so let's define a length contraction function contraction uh, we can comment this out okay so what we are gonna do is if self dot unit double equals meters per second then we want c to be 299792458 meters per second else c is 1 so what it will do is it will return l not uh, self dot l not into square root of 1 minus minus self dot b divided by s c squared and that should be it so let's try it uh, let's call our class length contraction let's give it um, a mid unit of one uh, i mean um, length of one and the velocity of 299792457 and let's use the units of meters meters per second so lc dot length contraction will be again uh, 0.8 microseconds uh, micrometers however if we change this to divided by 100 uh, we have yet not defined um, another unit so we'll just work with this and then if we do length contraction we get the same um, um, answer okay now let's um, upgrade our code a little bit and uh, I'll see you shortly after that So I've changed the code a little bit. Um, let's walk through it one by one from top to bottom. The first one is import NumPy as NP. Uh, pretty basic stuff. We have imported the NumPy library. Then we have a class unit error. And in that we are passing an exception. And all it does is that it passes. Uh, we, this is basically us defining our own error function that we can raise any time when we deem it necessary for example in this case in this case we are using the unit error so that when the user does not pass uh, either this unit meters per second or this unit relativistic we will uh, cause the program to sort of crash not in the literal sense but it will break away from whatever it is doing and it will say that this is an error you need to address this I will talk about it a little bit later 
Uh, now let's come to the class of length contraction. We defined the length contraction class and then we initiated the class with this uh, with this init function. Here we have self. Uh, it is uh, necessary in every uh, initialization function for a class. Then we need the L0, the uh, length of the object in its own framework preference. Then we need V, the velocity of the object. And then we need the unit string. It will, it can either be meters per second or it can be REL for short for relativistic. So what we do next is that we save these inputs into the variables of the class self.l0, self.v. Now this part here is a bit tricky. It is a try except block. What it does is it tries to run the code inside the try block um, here. And if it doesn't uh, succeed uh, if it raises an error like in this command if we do not find a meters per second or relativistic unit we will force it to raise a unit error that we have defined here if it finds a raised error it breaks from the try uh, from the try block to the accept block and then it does what is uh, whatever the code is provided in the accept block here we are simply printing that the unit is not passed correctly. Please use meters per second or REL. The other thing that is happening in this block is that if the unit is equal to meters per second, we are passing the value of 299792458 meters per second into another variable C for the class. However, if we receive a unit of REL or relativistic, we pass the unit, uh, we pass the value of 1 to C. Okay, uh, that being done, we next we now move on to the actual function that does the length contraction calculations. Um, we don't need that. Sorry. What we need is self dot c. It is basically a simple formula for l naught into square root upon minus v square over c square. Um, the standard length contraction formula. Now let's run this uh, program. And let's see what we can do. Length contraction here we will pass on first we will pass on the meters per second um, units, then calculate the length contraction 0.8 uh, micrometers. Fine. Um, now let's see uh, 792457. Now let's pass on the relativistic units and do the length contraction calculation. We again get the same value 8.16 whatever 0.8 micrometers. So our formula is uh, our function is uh, working correctly. However, we have not tested it for the uh, exception that we have created here using the unit error. So let's just not pass um, any unit. Here I am still passing a an empty string uh, because the stand uh, because the default value for the string is meters per second so if i uh, remove this part it will take the 0 0.999 whatever the value is in units of meters per second it will give the value of c it will pass on this value of c and it will calculate the uh, formula correctly uh, for example so it's still one meter since the velocity is what 0.9999 meters per second it is not even one meter per second however in, on contrast if we do this it will give us an error that unit is not passed correctly please use meters per second or rel however um, there is still one little thing that uh, can be improved in this code and that is exclusion of negative velocities we have no fail safe for uh, what will happen if the length is negative or if the velocity of the um, object is negative since length cannot be negative one so what we can do here is we can make another class length error So we can make another try except block try self dot length a if l naught is greater than zero, then it should pass on the value. However, 
else it should raise length error with the exception of length error and it will say print uh, length cannot be less than zero okay now if we run this code again and we try to pass on the negative length it says length cannot be less than zero and it should not calculate the length contraction as expected because the code was broken here there was nothing else passed on it so it should not be able to um, calculate the length contraction similar to the length contraction um, we can make similar codes for the um, time dilation and the relativistic mass as well So we have defined uh, the formulas for length contraction, uh, time dilation and the relativistic mass. Um, now if we look here closely, uh, let me just, they all almost have the same exact um, structure. Uh, we have unit error, we have the related error, here mass error, time error and length error. Then we have the classes length contraction, time dilation, relativistic mass these things are like almost the same except for this one this block where we um, choose the restriction on length time and mass that is also the same just the variables are changed and then these functions are a bit different um, what we can do is we can combine um, these uh, formulas as well but for now we will um, just keep them as it is And we can see if they work. Let's do for time dilation. And uh, the delta T for the muons is 2.2 E minus 6, 4.95 C uh, relativistic speeds. Let's see the. And here we have 7.505 microseconds as we have seen previously in our examples. In that example, sorry. And similarly, um, we can do relativistic mass. Um, I don't know, uh, 15 kg moving at 0.95 for relativistic speeds. So, a 15 kg mass, if it will be traveling with 0.95 c speed, for us, if we will observe the relativistic mass, since we will be outside that. Um, frame of reference of the object we will uh, observe it as 48 kgs that's like nearly more than three times heavier than the actual mass of the object so that will be it for this video um, the codes will obviously be uh, available on GitLab pages uh, thank you very much for watching hope you have learned something for uh, Python perspective as well as um, relativistic perspective. Thank you for watching.